All right, time to do some limited, and we're going to play a Lord of the Rings premiere draft. It's been a while since I posted some limited content. Hell yeah, we're ready. Why oh, is there always that one person? Frodo Sauron's Bane. If Frodo Sauron's Bane is a citizen, it becomes a halfling scout with base power and toughness 2-3. And three black, if Frodo is a scout, it becomes a halfling rogue. With whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, the player loses the game. Um, uh, that just seems like the best card in the pack. So if we ring bearer and Frodo can't be blocked. If he'd been tempted four more times. No Gandalf's really good. Gormog. Gothmog Morgul Lieutenant. Mass Orcs 1. Creature tokens you control have death touch. I do like Gandalf, but... This is, seems like a really good card. I know Gandalf is really good. Great Hall of the Citadel. Tap to add two mana of any color combinations. Use this to cast legendary spells. Enters the battlefield. Amass two. Yeah, this seems really good. We'll just go ahead and grab the Evasion Flyer that amasses. We get an Evasion Flyer and a and Orc, so can't go wrong there. I know Claim the Precious is really good because it's just a better version of Murder. <clears throat> Sam's Desperate Rescue. Return target, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand the ring tips you whenever another creature you control dies put a plus one plus one counter on the ugg luck of the white hand if that creature was a goblin or orp that seems really good it's either that or sam's this does temp this seems really good Fiery Inscription. When Fiery Inscription enters the battlefield, the ring the ring tempts you whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell. We don't have we won't have that many probably. Claim the precious. That's the card we was after. 
Destroy target creature the ring tempts you. You. White doesn't seem to be that open. This doesn't seem very good. And Esquire of the King. Creatures you control get plus one plus one in the turn. This availability costs two less to activate if you control a legendary creature. I don't think we're after second breakfast. Uh, this seems to be for the food based deck, but it does tempt. We could just take the black card. I'll just take the mushrooms, I guess. Mirror of Galadriel. It's been a while since I've seen uh, Lord of the Rings. Some of these I may say wrong. Scribe one, then draw a card. Add one man of any color among legendary creature cards in your graveyard. Do we want trebuchet? Let's just take trebuchet. Just take the goblin, I guess. The black breath. Creatures your opponents control get minus one, minus one. The ring tempts you. When haunt of the dead marshes enters the battlefield, scry one. Uh, don't seem great, does it? Turn target non-creature to its owner's hand. The rain tempts you. Well, let's take the soothing of Smeagol. Put target creature into its owner's library. Second from the top. Sure. We did get a Sam again, didn't we? So we should have took the Ugg Luck, and we would have we would have got a Sam's Desperate Rescue. Tree folk, sure. Hang on, when it scries, search the library for a basic land. Create a food. Yeah, I'll just take the food card, I guess. Counter target spell, a mass orc, sure. Sharkery Tyrant of the Shire. Activate abilities of lands your opponents control can't be activated unless they're mail abilities. Sharky Tyrant of the Shire has all activate abilities of lands your opponents control except mana abilities. Mana of any type can be spent to activate Sharky's ability. Uh, that don't sound very good though. And that player's graveyard. Birthday escape. Let's take the big expensive card. We could take the goblin. Tor the Torment of Goblin seems okay, but not great. We'll take another. Groundbreaker does seem good. As long as it's your turn and you control an army. What does Rivendell do? Scry to activate only if you can try. I guess it's kind of a free card. Deals two damage to any target. The ring tempts you. We could take the red card here. Reach. Deceive the messenger. 
Whenever you cast your second spell. Or not in Scry, honestly. Probably what I would take is Deceive the Messenger. Eh. Shalab's Ambush. Target creature gets plus one, plus one, and gains death touch during the turn. Create a food. Create a treasure token, mass oryx. Draw three cards, island cycling. Hobbit sting. If we go black green, we could play the Fangron Tree Shepherd. Or we could play Rise of the Witch King. Legolas, no. How good is Nasty End? I don't know. Ants Fury is a removal spell. Claim the precious. This does have swamp cycling. Guess we're in black green. Whenever you scry, yeah, we'll take trebuchet. When it enters a battlefield, attack the target creature you control and tap that creature. That doesn't seem great. Dawn of the New Age. When Dawn of the New Age enters the battlefield with a hope counter for each creature you control at the beginning of your end step, remove a hope counter from Dawn of the New Age. If you do draw a card, then it has no hope counters on it. Sacrifice it and you gain four life. Scribe 3, you may reveal the top card of your library if it's a creature or draw card. I don't think we want another nasty end, do we? 1-1 one, one death touch doesn't seem great. Pippin's bravery doesn't seem great. Now we see the white cards. Shadow summoning. I think I like Revive. And there's a fog. Generous Ant.
Ooh. When you scry, choose one. It gets plus one, plus one in the first turn. Uh, we don't scry, do we? And we'll just take it. How many white cards do we have? We don't have enough white cards, do we? There's one, two, three. I guess we want a trick, right? Oh, maybe a one-one death touch. Partings. Let's get rid of Sam. Oh man, this was a white card. Uh, we didn't get to play Frodo. Boo. I have no idea if this deck is good or not. I think the last five or so drafts I did, like, I think four of the five have been seven wins. Of a new format, that is. I do make a food, so. Yogmoss Grill. Like I started with the Frodo, but nothing opened. Nothing. That thing was just there. I can swamp cycle to thin the deck, then get it back with revive the Shire. That's not a bad play. Might make a good ring bear where it's one. Nimble Hobbit. Whenever Nimble Hobbit attacks, you may sacrifice a food or pay three. When you do, tap target creature and opponent controls. I don't think they just want to trade. <sighs> it 
because we I think we do have a couple of the fight spells, so the death touch will be good. So they did not want to trade. Nice planes for Yagmas Grill. Westfold Strider. So I have to have the um, an army. I think I'm fine just attacking with the Glorfindel. And then, then they can sack it, block, then use it. It's only a sorcery speed. So if they want to trade here, they have to let the Gron live. I do have some amass cards. I don't have a lot. So best draw would be in a mass card. Does this count as a food? Crew and get in for five. All right, there goes the grand. Turn target creature card. Well, I can attack, sack this, draw three, and sounds rescue. And let the ring tempt me for the first time. can gain three life. Do not draw land, but we can Dunlin Cat. Dunlin Carbone? Carbane? Uh, Carbone, Carbane. 
something. Surath Ugg Patrol. So this needs to be my ring bearer probably. What do we want to get back? More door trebuchet. Whenever you attack with one or more goblins or ores, create a 2 1 colors construct artifact creature token with flying named Ballistic Boulder. Frodo. Do we just need to kill Frodo? When the ring bearer attacks, draw a card. Hang on. Fell beast enters the battlefield. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Create a food token for each creature sacrificed this way. Oh yeah, the ring bears. The ring bears should have been the orc army. Search your library for a legendary creature card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. All right, got game one. Well, considering we only have ten creatures, I have like three return cards. In my deck, though. Maybe we should play 16 lands. Since there is two forest cyclers in the deck. I don't think we have a... There's two land cyclers. And we do have a mini partings. Hmm. I think I'm fine. It does still have a high curve. This is probably a hand I should have not kept. Yep. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six limbs already, so. Yeah, this is bad. I probably should have mulliganed. Ain't no probably shoot. There ain't no probably to it.
When it died, draws a card. Sure. The ring tempted me. Turn target another target permanent card from your graveyard. We don't have another permanent card. We go to fourteen. Kingfisher. The ant does have reach. Wait. Let's forest cycle, then we can return it. We will gain three. I mean, we have plenty of removal. They have tons of those. That was a fantastic draw, wasn't it? Unless they have a counter spell. And they have a counter spell. That'll probably do it, gamers. Should have mulligan. Should have mulligan. I don't know how fast the format is. Like it should have definitely been a mulligan, considering I don't know the format that well. So yeah. So as long as I get like to four wins, I'd be happy. Yeah, should have mulligan. Maybe I could splash white and play Frodo. I doubt it though. Uh, this is just a swamp cycling. Uh, one more again. I will keep. It one three does block, doesn't it? We'll get rid of nasty end. Now we need that swamp cycler. Or another creature enter the battlefield. Target creature gains double strike. So we need another swamp for claim the precious. And we did get that swamp, didn't we? But plus one plus if not plus okay. Maybe we should just I should have held priority. Uh this is a sorcery. Oh, they're both sorceries. Oh, great. Oh, they're both sorceries, folks. It's a 
So two, three, two, four. Yeah, let's just do this. Let's read cards. Sorcery, sorcery. This does nothing. We'll claim the precious. Uh, we'll keep the same ring bearer. We want the land. Uh, let's. We want the ring tempting, don't we? Let's get rid of the trebuchet, I guess. Three, whenever your ring bearer becomes bought by a creature, that creature controller sacrifices that in combat. When your ring bearer deals combat damage to a player, each opponent loses three life. It's a four, three, ring tips. They get a ring bearer. Do we want the trebuchet? I think I'm fine just getting the trebuchet back, I guess. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. Oh, I should have put the counter on the on the bird, but it's okay. The two five box is stalwarts. Nope, it doesn't, does it? Nope. It's a six four. I can double block, which I will. No attempts. Can't be bought by creatures with greater power. I don't have greater power. Hold on. Orc one, creature tokens you have with death touch. Yeah, slight error by not putting the counter on the on the bird. I can now use the Ant's ant Fury to fight here. It's just too bad I got a, a really bad two drop for the deck. This does have Death Touch, but when this attacks, I will get a 2 1. It's at the beginning of your end step. Wizard Rockets to draw a card. Red mana. So they added three blue. I was reading.
So they had to have wizard rockets in order to cast the two blue spells. That is funny. So they got insanely greedy. And I lost the two blue cards and they didn't have no blue mana. Okay. That kind of sucks. You play a double blue spell. And a three color deck and it's not even your primary color. I guess it works like in all reality the ring bearer should have been the orc. I gotta get used to this ring tempting bit mumbo jumbo. Too bad the trebuchet can't block and kill it, but it does block. I should have got those L's. Go ahead and take out the lookout. That doesn't even take out the lookout. That's hilarious. It's so bad. Yeah, the 
trebuchet he does not seem great at all. A 1 3 is living through two 1 4s. It's fine because we have Rise of the Witch King. And we do have Fell Beast too. Another a bad equipment. Okay. Oh fuck, it has reach. No, oh, this was awful. If they don't play creature here, we should be good. Okay, yeah, we should be good now. We get back to Fail Beast. Pay two to equip it. Don't play creature. Maybe I should have just been better playing white. This trebuchet is not great at all. It is an early blocker, but we don't have that much of mass. Like, if we had plenty of mass, then it would be to our advantage. Alright, sweet. No, we'll keep the fort. We'll keep the land for looting purposes. Okay, you you do that. So they drew their claim to precious, and I have it. And we've drawn eight lands. We still have two Sam's Desperate Rescues as well to draw, so... And we do have two foods too, so... Mega fucking flood here. Mega flood. Now 
Yep, sure. Sure. Legolas, Master Archer. Whenever you cast a spell that targets, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Whenever you cast a spell that targets a creature you don't control, okay, it deals that much damage. Sure. This has trample, so there's no point in blocking. <laughs> and it's fucking fury, are you serious? Uh, uh, you got it. Good GG. Flood, really bad deck. Uh, what could I have done differently? Let me go look at it and, re and rebuild the deck. I probably should have just played the white been a lot better. Oh, well. That's really bad. So, 